Hi guys, it's Eileen here, <clears throat> and um, I'm going to make an iCAD uh, index card, um, and I'm going to use one of my backgrounds I have here, up, and here we go, I have this bird that, <clears throat> excuse me, I tested out a while back for the stamp when I first got this stamp here. Sorry, my arm, my arm, my arm, the stamp right here, and um, it's Hero Arts, and um, I already used it quite a bit now. I did some watercolor on just to play around while I was Skyping. Yeah, so I want to throw that on there today and make a iCAD. going to put some napkin on there, I think, and... I'm going to use this tree. This napkin was given to me. So I'm going to use the tree here that's on this napkin. Take the backing off. I'm going to rub it again see if there's any more on here. Usually there's a couple of them. That's how I separate them, but wow, it's like... If there is more on there, it's stubborn. I think that's it. Although I'm... I don't know. Feels pretty thick, but you can see it pretty well through. I think that's it. Anyway, okay. Now that I got nice texture on there, I'm gonna grab this tree. Uh, just because I've been eyeing it. I'm not sure if I'll use the butterfly. I might. But I know I want the tree. I'm going to grab my Mod Podge out. I've been doing a lot of them with paper napkins, I noticed. So I don't know. I'll have to start doing something else. But it's been, I don't know what I've been inspired to do, I suppose. So, grabbing this. I'm now, I don't know why I want to do a bird, but I'm starting to, I know it's kind of a fall tree too. It's like mixed, 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 um, whatever. But really, I want, I'm just want spring to come along, so. And I do have some birds out here, but I want to hear more birds singing. So I'm missing all that kind of stuff. And today, <clears throat> if you look outside, it looks really wintry. Um, I think next week some of the snow is going to melt. But for now, it looks like winter here. So it's not very springy. So I want something to remind me of warmer weather. Even though, like I said, this looks like a fall tree, but whatever. It's what I have. Now I'm not sure. I want to put, where did I put my little bird? I want to put my bird on here. Do I want to add the butterfly? I don't know. I don't think so. OK, 
Okay, so I just cut the yellow strip that was at the bottom of this tree, and I'm going to put in the edge here because I don't want to put the butterfly there. So that's what I'm going to do. So, yeah, I want it to look, no, it's not necessarily springy. I just want it to look alivey. So it's not necessarily like spring. But I'm getting tired of all the snow. All the snow. Okay, I'm looking for my book here. I just decided I want to put some book paper here. And I want to get my, I wanted to get an older yellow book. But this will be good. It's got small writing. So I'm just going to add some strips to it. And I'm going to think I'm going to add my brown, some brown ink to it. If I haven't used up all my ink here. getting dry so I'm just gonna add some of this to it so it's kind of still moist on top from the Mod Podge here. Get this corner down. <clears throat> so yeah, I'm wanting warm weather already. I'm being greedy. I want it back. Getting tired of this. <laughs> it's only January, I know, but crazy. Okay, I'm not sure if I'm going to put any more, but mm, yeah, I think that's good enough. Okay, so I'm just going to add some Mod Podge to the top of that, and then I'm going to add my bird. My bird. My bird's quite colorful, so it's going to look nice. Where is he? I guess I would say he. He's so pretty. She's are not so pretty, are they? Should I put all of them in there? All of him in there so then you can see all of his feathers. So I just did like some quick watercolor on him. Nothing fancy. And the warco is actually not really spreading. That's good. So I'm just going to dry this guy up and trim him around here and see how it looks. Hey guys, okay, so I didn't cut it, I just dried it, but I want to add this music note on top or, um, yeah, strip. So <clears throat> I'm going to do that because you know how birds like to sing their song. I have no idea. I'm just going with it. So <clears throat> I haven't even showed you what it looked like so far. So far. So I just inked it as well. And I thought, well, before I cut it, I am just going to add this piece and then I can cut it all together. I like how it's all smushed together like that. It's kind of cool. I like that look. <clears throat> so, so far, now I'm going to dry it again. So here he is. Isn't he cute? So far, very cute. Um, I was looking at my little toilet paper. Well, these are paper napkins. Little flowers I made. 
And I was looking at them while I was doing this, and I'm thinking maybe I'm going to add some to it. So these are like, <coughs> these are roses here. I'm going to cut a nice, oh, it's upside down. <coughs> Excuse me. This is like a daisy type of thing or something, I think. So, anyway. They're nice and colorful. So I don't know. I might just add a couple of these. Because they're cute. Should I add one, two, like that? That's cute. Okay, I'm adding them because I can. I'm using my tacky glue because it's really tacky. And how do I want to add this? Do I want it lower? I should have probably played with it on here. Higher, lower, I don't know. So I'm just kind of like <sighs> guesstimating where I would want it. a little space. It's not as small as an iCAD, but, or, um, sorry, an ATC. But it is a smart space. Moving this guy. Okay, so I'm just going to go over the glue here with a little bit of water so it's not drying all thick. Dry that up. I'm going to add a little bit of stamping. I know there's not much room to stamp, but I'm going to add the stamp right here. I want to add a little bit of stamping. Oh, this is my... There we go. So there's some nice black stamping there. I did that a date to remember on top of the music note and I did some numbers here, so that's cool. Yes, I'm going to take my little pencil case here and outline my bird with this um, Studio G pen. And I do have gel pen, so I might use that, I don't know. Didn't you? But ooh, for now, see that's why I have this little lid of things and I see something in there. And that's where I had my little flowers that I was playing with. And then you're like, hmm, let's try that. Or I'm like, you know, I was just being like, but. So I'm just kind of giving some shade here or something around this bird. Smearing it in, giving shadow, I don't know. It's not supposed to look realistic or anything, obviously. A little stamped out bird. But give him some dimension. That's the word I'm looking for. His tail looks too too dark. I'm gonna give do the same thing with my flowers. If they move, they're gonna move. I don't know. I know he's upside down and everything. You're like, what are you doing? So. I know. I know.
so. That's him. I'm going to do that number one again because I kind of smeared the stamp over here. It's going to look, it's going to be okay though because I'll just try to get on top a little bit. There we go. Okay, I just want to get the numbers coming through a little bit more again. And. going to go over the lines of the paper here, the edges. I know I've got some brown on there, like the ink, but I'm going to outline it now with some of this smeared in. Kind of funny because it's going darker here than the rest. It's kind of rubbing off easy, so that's why I was kind of having trouble with his tail, looking funny to me. It's looking, but looks good. Now I don't know what I'm going to write down on this guy. He's got a day to remember on it. So that's stamped out already on top, so I don't know if I'm going to add more to it or not. Because I actually just like him the way he is. I might write on his wings, just because. I might write waiting for spring, if it can see through. Hmm. How about down here? Gel pen's not quite writing the way I wanted to write, but I can read it. Waiting for spring. I should have had um, maybe my calligraphy pen or something out. That would have written better. There we go. That's my little iCAD or index card. I hope you guys liked it. Just quick and easy. Talk to you later. Bye-bye.